Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle Old Football System. I want to go over our offensive principles and goals and how we do defensive recognition, which is the foundation of our no huddle system. Let's take a look. All right, first off, let's go over our trio principles. Number one is numbers. We're going to go ahead and have our quarterback point at the safeties, down to the outside linebackers, hanging backers, and then into the mic. There's your triangle right there. Number two, then, we want to look for best blocking angles, and we are an outside-in team, so we're going to look for our best edge, and then go to that three technique, the defensive tackle, who's an outside shade on the guard. And number three, then we want to get our offensive numbers to the fields. We basically want to put speed in space because speed wins over scheme. Last, our goal is we want to try to run the ball against every team we play, but again, numbers will dictate that as our first principle. As always, eliminate turnovers, and in today's modern football, you need to have big, explosive plays. Next is defensive terminology. You can see here we're going to treat everything as a some version of a 4-3 defense with two high safeties to start. So if we say the play side is to the right or to the upper part of the picture, you can see then some, from the outside end, the cat is considered the play side corner and the ox is the onside safety. Then we come down to the Sam as a strong backer, Mike, and then Will weak. Dog is the backside corner and goat is the backside safety. Then we've got our two defensive ends we call number threes and then a D tackle and a nose guard. We want to take advantage of defensive recognition every play with our no huddle system. We use a process called ANA, access, no access. Again, quarterback will point at the safeties. In this case, we have two high. That will determine the maximum number they can have in the run box. Second, we'll come down to those hanging outside backers, which we call Mr. Zeros. In this case, we'll look at the Will and the Sam. We're going to check and see if then our receivers have access to throw the football, meaning those Mr. Zeros are not covering them. If they are outside covering the defenders, then we say we have no access, and then that tells us now we have good numbers in the run box, and with our RPO, we'll read them as the conflict defender. Last, when we do defensive front recognition, we want to communicate this consistently. Again, everything starts from some version of a 4-3. So if we go in the upper left, you can see there we're running to the left. Then the Sam is strong, Mike in the middle, and Will. If we go down below there to the 42 stack, now when the Mike is not over the center, we'll always say he is the linebacker stacked to the play side. So we're going left, Mike is to over the left guard. And then in the bottom, a 4-3 under is where they kick the front weak away from the direction we're going. Again, we're going to the left, and they walk the Sam down over the H, and we have the backers stacked with a mic in the A gap. And the upper right is our odd defense, classic 34. You can see now we're going to call the kick the backers to the play side. We're running right, Mike over the right guard, Sam over the H, and we call the defensive end away from the call who is up in a two-point stance, a rush end. Down below is a 3-3 stack. Again, guards uncovered. It makes it odd, but Mike's in the middle. And then last is a TNT, what we call a bear, where the guard center guard are all covered. Now we have two rush ends, no Sam backer, and the Mike again would be to the play side to the right. You can see now by doing this defensive recognition, it's the foundation to our no huddle system imperative. All your quarterbacks understand this so that we can follow our principles of numbers first, angle second, and then number three, speed and space. Thanks.